Paralympic icon known as the Blade Runner turned convicted killer Oscar Pistorius will soon trade in his tiny jail cell for the luxury of a multi-million dollar three-story mansion in Pretoria, South Africa. Not to mention, the place he'll call home is in one of the most exclusive neighborhoods. And it's here that Oscar will reportedly study to become a preacher. On January 5th, 2024, the 37-year-old will be moving in with his longtime advocate uncle Arnold in his stunning home located in Washington. Clue. The estate where tragedy struck on Valentine's Day in 2013, where the Paralympic athlete killed his girlfriend Riva Steenkamp, was sold a year after the fatal shooting to a mining consultant. The luxury Silverwoods estate property boasted four bedrooms and a modern feel throughout. There's also a swimming pool outside, but this pool turned green after months of neglect, reflecting the bad memories that took place at this very estate. Oscar Pistorius was born November 22nd, 1986. Six. And he was a famous runner known for his speedy prosthetic legs, making history by competing in the Olympics despite being a double amputee. His success story took a sad turn in 2013. Imagine a big house in a fancy neighborhood called Silverwoods Country Estates in Pretoria, South Africa. This is where Oscar would stay with his girlfriend Riva Steenkamp, a property which saw both the good and bad sides of Oscar's life. Everything changed on Valentine's Day in 2013 when something tragic happened inside their beautiful home. It was this night when the celebrated Paralympic runner fatally shot his girlfriend Riva, an incident that revealed a troubled relationship between the couple. Historians claimed he mistook Steenkamp for an intruder, leading to a high-profile trial that delved into the circumstances surrounding her death and brought along some intense public scrutiny. Historians was jailed for culpable homicide in 2016, initially for six years, but then increasing to 13 after the Supreme Court of Appeal found him guilty of murder, arguing he should have foreseen the possibility of killing someone when he fired the shots. Oscar Pistorius will soon be ditching his cramped prison digs for a mega posh three-story mansion in Pretoria, South Africa when he's let out on parole as of January 5th, 2024. He's planning to switch gears and become a preacher and will be studying in the comfort of his uncle Arnold's luxurious mansion. However, it's not all rainbows and butterflies for this 37-year-old Blade Runner, and reportedly Oscar's got to keep watching his back because some dangerous folks in Johannesburg want payback for Riva's death. Back when he was out on bail, Oscar was super paranoid about hitmen coming after him. He'd steer clear of windows and kept them shut tight, fearing a bullet might come flying his way. Even during his jail time, he was worried sick about his food getting poisoned, so he started chowing down on beans straight from the can just to be sure no one messed with his meals. Despite his upcoming release, Pistorius will never be allowed to touch a firearm again, and sources say he's determined to turn over a new leaf dedicated to God and to helping others. His uncle Arnold, who's also his longtime supporter, is offering him room and board. The mansion, located in Pretoria, is guarded by a security team as well as high walls. Not to mention any driver entering the street where Oscar will be living has to have their palm prints scanned on an intricate camera system at roadblocks to identify them. Oscar's also likely to be protected by a security detail whenever he ventures out into public places, just like he was during his trial. Arnold Pistorius is said to be like a second father figure to the shamed athlete, and he's also a deeply religious Christian. For meals, he and his family hold hands and say grace together, thanking God for their food, and they all regularly attend church as well. While Oscar is now a convicted killer, he had become a spiritual guide to other prisoners in his jail block while in prison, encouraging them to read the Bible and follow Jesus. It is this religious background that Oscar's family hopes will steer him back onto the right path with a life dedicated to God. Oscar's soon-to-be residence is located on a leafy street in the upscale Waterkloof area where the homes sell for upwards of 10 million pounds. We can only imagine how luxurious the interiors of his uncle Arnold's mansion are. Oscar Pistorius's former property was once impressive too. Picture a sprawling residence in the leafy suburb of Silverwood's country estates in Pretoria, South Africa. A house that witnessed the rise and fall of a sports and 
sensation. This upscale home, once a symbol of success, would become the haunting backdrop to a tragic tale. It was on Valentine's Day 2013 when the world was shocked by the news that shattered the illusion of Pistorius' golden life. Inside his luxury home, a horrific accident unfolded that would forever change the narrative. The victim, Riva Steenkamp, a model and Pistorius' girlfriend. The house, once a fortress of dreams, became a crime scene that fateful night. Located in the heart of a gated community, Pistorius' residence was a sprawling testament to his success. With high walls and a sense of seclusion, the property exuded an air of exclusivity. Definitely a contrast to the tragedy that ended up unfolding within. The legless athlete known as the Blade Runner claims he thought he was acting in self-defense when he fired four shots through the closed bathroom door in this very mansion because he believed the noise that he heard in the bathroom was an intruder. Let's take a look inside the once beautiful home that is now riddled with tragedy. The heavy wooden door of Oscar and Riva's former property swings open to reveal an empty interior. First thing that catches your eye is the now familiar white tiled staircase, which Oscar carried Riva down after inflicting several gunshot wounds on her in the bathroom of the master suite. The contemporary estate looks normal upon first glance, but what once transpired here was anything but that. While the neighborhood seems like a welcoming place, Oscar's one-time property had no signs of life after the tragedy. Even the water in the swimming pool had turned green after months of neglect. These days, the home likely looks different as it was purchased by a mining consultant. Located in the upscale Silver Woods Country Estates community, Oscar and Riva's former home has been nearly 8,000 square feet of space inside. In the double height entryway at the foot of the stairs is where Oscar laid Riva down and apparently prayed out loud for her not to die. The once polished tiles are rough to the touch as the chemicals used to remove the blood stains have eaten into the surface. Other signs of the tragic events that unfolded that night are in the bathroom where the tiles are marked with small bullet holes. Oscar once loved cooking for his friends in his spacious kitchen, but it remained bare for a long while after Riva's death. Oscar also loved cars, so it's no surprise that the garage in the property had room for three vehicles, and elsewhere he had space to keep the motorboat he once owned. Previously pale yellow interior of the home boasted a fresh coat of gray paint, and at the time when the estate was sold, all that needed to be changed was the addition of a new bathroom and the cleaning of the pool and fish ponds. Oscar and Riva's former bedroom, where the fatal event transpired, became the focus of a high-profile trial that captured global attention. Details came out of a relationship marred by turmoil, and on that fateful night, a series of events that led to Riva Steenkamp's untimely death. The modern mansion, once filled with the echoes of celebration, became a haunting reminder of the fragility of fame and a silent witness to the complex life of a fallen hero. While this video was more somber, than some of our usual tours, that's gonna wrap up our peek into the life trial and homes of Oscar Pistorius. Before we go, answer this question for me. Would you ever consider purchasing a home where such a tragedy took place? Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!